My name is Elite Pierre. Most of you know me. Those of you who don't, I'm a founder of three with this company. I've been in this company for uh, almost five months, having a lot of success. All right, and the reason why I'm having success is because I'm keeping it simple and following the system. I'm doing exactly what I was trained to do when I first got started. Even though I know all the information, I still follow the system. Peak people's interest is the very first step that you have to do to gain a new business partner all right and how do you do that you're going to do that in many 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 different ways i'm just going to cover a few different ways that you pique people's interest number one way is through the way you live your life people are watching you whether you know it or not and that also goes on to online and offline just because no one's liking your post doesn't mean that thousands of people have not seen it. Just because people have not liked your picture doesn't mean that thousands of people have not seen it. So walk in authority, walk in your blessing, and people are going to recognize it. A lot of people don't understand that, you know, when we first getting started with the business, we were told to peak our friends and family, get them in the business, and nine times out of ten, those are the first ones to say no. All right, they're the first ones to say no. So understand that the friends and family, they know you. They know you, and that's gonna work you and your that's gonna work for you in your favor because guess who's gonna be the first one to recognize the change in you when you start to develop and become a better person? Your friends and your family. That same reason why they won't join your business is the same reason why they will join your business as you become a better person so peaking people's interest starts with you you have to become the the better you we're not asking you to change we're not asking you to become you know somebody who you're not we're just asking you to grow develop and become a better you that's going to pique people's interest into number one being a part of whatever you're a part of and number two getting to know what is it that's making you a better person what are you doing in your life I want to be a better person too all right so that's one way to pique people's interest the second way again is through social media be the type of person that people want to be around that's on and offline be the type of person that people want to be around if you have an attitude if you are stuck up if you are snobby nobody wants to hang around people like that so you have to be the type of person that you want to be around you have to meet people where they're at if you're if you like to have fun and you're and you're cool people want to be around people like that they're going to draw to you understand peaking starts with the person you are and also the leader you are so if you're dealing with people who are already leaders you have to be the leader that they want to be around that they can actually look to that's the type of peaking that you want to do because you don't want to peak um you know people who can't bring nothing to your organization you want to peak the people who actually have something to offer somebody who's going to help you build your business to the top and, and to the executive levels of this company all right so that's basically the, the 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 interior of peaking is be the leader that you want in your organization be the person that people want to be around and live your life in and walk in your authority walk in your blessing all right people are going to recognize that they're going to start contacting you and then when you contact them they're already interested because they've been watching you so this is how the conversation goes once you actually make contact. Number one, if you're going to, if you're going to make contact with people through Facebook, through any other social media network, through texting, through email, all you're doing is scheduling an appointment, ladies and gentlemen. All you're doing is scheduling an appointment. So what do I mean? If I'm gonna text you and say, hey, I wanna talk to you about something, don't explain the business, don't even tell them what you wanna talk to them about it. Just schedule when the time is to talk you want to talk to people over the phone so they can hear your voice just the same as you hear my voice right now you need to be able to put conviction in the information ladies and gentlemen that's what's going to seal the deal is the passion and the conviction in your voice all right so if you're going to text people if you're going to inbox people on facebook if you're going to email people if you're going to if you're going to tweet people 
however you prefer you to use your social media do it just to schedule the next appointment to just to schedule the next event all right so boom send them a text hey are you available to talk right now have a sense of urgency are you available to talk right now if not when are you available to talk when can i give you a call you can call me around seven bet i'll call you at seven call them at seven and let them know listen i'm super excited and, and don't just say you're excited sound inside it listen i'm super excited i finally found something and i got something for you they're like what is it i want to know what it is if you tell me elite man i got something for you i'm going to want to know what it is is it food because i like to eat is it money because i like to spend is it a trip because i like to travel whatever it is i want to know you got you got my interest and ladies and gentlemen, this is not something I'm making up. This is the this is the stuff that I have been trained. I have tried. It has worked. All right. This is not just something I read in a book or watched in a video on, on on Facebook or on YouTube. I tried these things and they work. Hey, listen. I finally found what we've been looking for. I got something for you. What is it? If I send you a video, will you watch it? <laughs> man, Eric Warrior is the man, y'all. That's the GoPro training. That's that training right there of how to become a professional network marketer. That's what we do. All right, so check this out. If I invite you to a conference call or if I send you some information to a conference call, will you call and listen? Do I have to say anything? No, just listen. And wait for an answer. If they don't have the time to get on a conference call, if they don't have the time to watch a video, you don't have time to waste. You are a business owner. Act like it. Do not waste your time with people who don't even who can't even follow directions. If you send somebody a video and they don't watch it and you follow back up with them, they have just disqualified themselves. You know how much time to give them. You can periodically check back with them at a later date. But right now, we're looking for TRU leaders. We're not looking for peasants, ladies and gentlemen. Peasants don't know how to follow directions. People like to be told what to do. So listen, if I, get, if I send you a video, will you watch it? Yes, I will. Boom, now you have it. Okay, great. I'm going to send you a video right now. I want you to watch it. The video is 10 minutes. I'm going to call you back in 10 minutes, okay? Okay, bye. Boom. Send them the video, call the next person. Now, if you do this, schedule your time out, y'all. We got to start getting organized with our organization. This is, this is something that the leaders are working on right now. It's starting to structure training that's going to help you get your organization organized. So you don't have to work your business on a fly. Now, there's, you want to peek on a fly. Everywhere you go, Every word, everything you do, you want to be piquing people's interest, like I said, through living your life. Every time you go to a restaurant, a grocery store, everywhere you go, you go to school, you go to work, you need to be living a life that people are interested in and in collecting contacts. Hey, you seem like a pretty sharp person. Let me get your number. Here's my card. 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 You need to be doing that all day, every day, everywhere you go. You are now a professional network marketer. But when it comes down to making phone calls, yeah, y'all, we we are we are so scheduled. Y'all know when the conference calls are. All right, y'all know when the training calls are. There's no question. There's no reason why we can't be organized. All right, there's no reason. There's no excuse. So write down a list if you don't have one already, and your list should be growing daily. You should already have a list, and you should be adding to that list daily. And you're going to start calling that list at your set scheduled time. And then schedule the calendar of when you're going to do follow-up calls. People who did not watch the video when you told them to, or people who didn't have a chance to, to, to watch the video when you when you first called them and they said call back at 7, now you marked in your calendar at 7 o'clock. So the next person says, I'll be available at 7. Oh, I'm sorry. I already have an appointment for 7 o'clock this evening. How about 7.30? Will that work for you? Awesome. Boom. That even sounds real good when you already got appointments. I'm a busy person. Respect my time. That way, when I call you at 730, you know I'm serious about my business. Everybody tracking with that? I hope so. All right. So moving on. Peek. Get, their, get, get them interested in the information. Share a video. 
or a conference call. Are you available tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time? No, I'm not. I got to put my kids to bed. All right, bet. What are you doing right now? I ain't doing nothing right now. I'm just watching TV. Great. If I send you a video, will you watch it right now? Have a sense of urgency right now. I want y'all to get the right now mindset when it comes to sharing. Because if they're not available, do not give them the information. Keep it away from them. Because like I said in the beginning, if you tell me you got something for me and then the call ends and I still don't know what it is that you have for me, uh, I'm really curious now. I ain't going to be able to think about nothing but what it, man, what is it that uh, Johnny had for me? What was he talking about? Now I'm going to call you back later on when I ain't doing nothing just to find out, hey, remember you said you had something for me? What, you know, I might need that. What's that? <laughs> I might need what you was talking about. So once you run that through me, once you run that in right now. All right, so bet. You share the information when they have identified that they are available to receive it. Don't give nothing to people when they're not ready for it because it's a waste of your time. Again, be organized. They're available for the conference call at 9 o'clock. You give them the information. They call in. As soon as they listen to the information, y'all, this is where the magic happens. After the call, you're going to call them back. All right? This is, this is the follow-up call. Hey, listen. Did you get a chance to get on that conference call tonight? Life gets in the way, y'all. Don't assume. Confirm. Did you get a chance to watch that video I sent you? Did you get a chance to get on that conference call? Yes, I did. If they say no, bet. When's a good time that I can check back with you? Uh, I should be able to watch it by tomorrow. Tomorrow what time? Tomorrow about, about noon. Okay, so if I call you tomorrow at noon, you will have watched that video I sent you by then, right? Get them to say yes. Y'all see what I'm doing. I hope, I hope y'all writing this stuff down. Y'all see what I'm doing. I am making you work off of appointments. I hope y'all writing this stuff down. All right. So, so here we go. Here we go. They did watch the conference call. Or they did listen to the conference call. Or they did watch the video. Awesome. I'm so glad you got a chance to listen to that information. I want to introduce you to the person who's actually helping me with this business. This person is phenomenal. I know they their, 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 their schedule is very tight. I've already contacted them and told them all about you. All right, now you're, you're, you're pumping them up. I've already told them all about you. They are excited to meet you. They're excited to meet you. Now they're important. Hold on a second. I'm going to call them and beep them in. Click. You're not asking for permission, y'all. You are edifying the person that you're going to get them on a call with. And you're reverse edifying the person who's on the call who just listened to the information. I told them all about you. They like what they heard. It sounds like you're a pretty short person and they're excited about meeting you. Now they're excited to meet that person just because they're speaking highly of them and they don't even know who they are. Y'all see how this is working. So boom, this is where the three-way comes in. A lot of people are skipping this step. You cannot skip the three-way call. So here we go. Peak has been done. Sheer has been done. After the call or after the video, you are going to conduct the three-way call. You cannot miss any of these steps, ladies and gentlemen. So you get them on the line. As soon as you have Mr. Pierre and Mr. Jonathan on the line together, all right, you verify that they both can be heard and are both there. Then you say, listen, Mr. Jonathan, this is my mentor, Mr. Elite Pierre. Do the edification on the phone with the men, with the upline, with the mentor. And this, this is for two reasons. Number one, um, we want to be able to give you some feedback if you're jacking it up. <laughs> we want to be able to give you some feedback if you're jacking it up. Because edification is very simple, but things that are easy to do are easy not to do as well. Too many calls I got on and they were just like, hey man, this is my buddy Elite. He's killing the business. Elite, take it away. And that's all they say. Now I have no credibility with that individual. So make sure that you're doing the edification on the line. Again, it does two things. Number one, it, 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 it confirms that you're doing it right so we can give you feedback. And number two, it teaches the system the edification comes on the three-way with all parties on the phone. Why? Because that's the system. That's what works. You got to understand that this is also training. Each event is also training for the next leader that new person 
However you do it with them is how they're going to do it. Y'all understand that? It duplicates. So you are training your new people every time you share the business. You're training them the PS3 system. All right, so boom, you edify. All you're doing is basically saying they know all the information. They're, they're, they're very successful. They're making a lot of money. If, if they're not making a lot of money, they're, they're, you know, they're utilizing the business to change their lives. And you also go right into they have grown a massive team. You just say stuff that how the business is changing their lives. You edify that person so they have credibility. So now when they speak, the person has to listen. All right. When you start building relationships with your leaders like you're supposed to anyway, now the edification becomes genuine. It's not just, you know, the script. Just like Mr. Akil Bay, he didn't say a script when he introduced me to the call, y'all. Y'all realize that. He spoke from his personal experiences. That's why you build relationships with the leaders so you can actually edify them and it don't be a script. It be for real. Like you can hear the passion and the, and, and, and the, and the, and the, um, the realness in their voice and what they're saying, how that person is changing their life. This individual has absolutely changed my life since I met them. I'm so thankful for them and everything they do for my team. I mean, you're going into the edification right there on the phone so they have a reason to listen to that individual. Right after that, you step back and you be quiet. As soon as that, that leader takes over the call, you don't say anything until you call, uh, until they hand the call back over to you. All right, the magic happens on a three-way call, y'all. The magic happens on a three-way call. What that's gonna do, that's gonna identify why they need to get started and why they won't get started, whether this, whichever way it's gonna go. We're gonna make them make a decision. And if they're on the fence, if you do the three-way call and they still aren't, aren't, re or aren't ready to get started right then and there, that's fine. You know, all we're going to do, and you and those of you who have done three-way calls for y'all, y'all see me do this. Okay, you need to do your research. You need to think about it. You need to talk to your spouse about it, no matter what excuse they give me. Okay, great. That's cool. I want you to do that. I make it sound like whatever their excuse is, is a good thing. I'm going to eliminate their excuse. Don't, don't get me wrong. But I'm going to make I'm gonna make it think that they're in control when they're not. If that makes sense, I'm gonna let them know. Okay, you want to think about it? Let's go to the you know what what's stopping you? What do you need to think about? I need I need because they don't have nothing to think about. They already have all the information. All right, that's awesome. You you know that that's smart. You should think about it. I you know I wanted to think about it too. But when I you know when I thought about it, I realized I already had all the information. I just need to make a decision. That's what you need to do. You don't need to think about it. You need to make a decision. All right? But that's fine. If people aren't ready to make a decision, we're not going to spend too much time with the people who aren't ready. Remember I told you that in the very beginning. All right? All we're going to do is schedule another appointment, y'all. Get that calendar book out. All right, cool. When's a good time for me to call you back tomorrow? If I call you back at 8 o'clock p.m., will you have a chance to think about it by then? <laughs> Yeah, I should be able to think about it, but I didn't bet. All right, we'll call you back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you taking the time out to listen to the information. Y'all see how that's working? Hey, y'all, this is simple. I know I gave y'all a whole lot of information, but it's so simple that anybody can do it. And how do I know that? Because there are hundreds of thousands of people that are doing it right now. And they're seeing success because they're following the system. Just a quick recap. PS3 stands for peak, share, three-way call. You peak their interest while by living your life, and when it's time to make contact, make contact by any means necessary, but do not peak off the phone or out or, or, or not in person. Here's another way I didn't throw that in there. If you can set up a face-to-face a -face meeting, call them and schedule a face-to-face -face meeting. Like if you know you're gonna meet up anyway, let's talk tomorrow at work doing lunch. Or, hey, what are you doing this evening? I'd like to take you out, you know, for, for, for some coffee or, you know, for some non-alcoholic drinks, you know, because you don't want to mix business with, with alcohol, if possible. So, um, what are you doing? I would like to meet up with you and discuss something with you. Be professional, y'all. Treat your business like a business and it's going to pay you like a business. All right? So, Peak, share the information. Either share a three-way, I mean, uh, um, uh, Correction, share a conference call information or share a video. If you meet somebody in person and you're new, or even me, I don't explain the business to people. I, I'll show them a video. I'll pull my phone out and be like, let's watch this video together. Play. 
and I'm all in the video with them, shaking my head. Mm. Oh, man, I love that part about it. I'm watching it like we at the movies watching Transformers, y'all. <laughs> that's the that's the attentive, attentiveness that you have to give when you're in the presence of a new person, y'all. Act like it's the first time you've ever seen this information and it's blowing you away. Because it should be. I mean, even if it's not the first time. Every time I watch the video, I get pumped up. Every time I see a presentation, I get pumped up. All right? So once they've shared the information, I call somebody on it, it, I call somebody on three-way. I still do the, th the three-ways, y'all. I'll call any of the leaders, Anthony, Eric, Guy, Akil. All of them has done three-ways for me. Because I'm not closing myself. I'm not closing nobody. I know the information. I'm not closing nobody. I'm not explaining nothing to nobody, y'all. I promise you. I'm not explaining nothing to nobody. I'm getting myself out the way. Because they know me. That's the point, y'all. They know you. So get the three-way into play. Run that play like we playing football. The three-way is the next play. First play is the peak. Second play is the is the sheer. Third play, we going to the end zone with the third play. We ain't even getting a fourth down. Touchdown. Points on the board, y'all. Hey, if y'all have any questions, make sure y'all contact me on, on Facebook. Get, get my phone number. Get my contact information. Stick with the leaders, y'all. We definitely got some big plans in the future coming down the pipe. Um, Saturday training is, 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 is on the way. I'm excited about that. Uh, we're going to be having another cruise event in the D.C. area real soon. More details to come about that. But, hey, y'all, man, plug into the system, follow the system, stick with the training, stick with the leaders, and there's no reason why you won't have success with this business. Mr. Bay, that's all I got for him tonight. Are you on the line? I've been grinding, I've been grinding, I've been grinding. Boy, I've been grinding way too long. Put my partners on